everybody. So today is Tuesday, the 9th of December. It took me a little bit there. I've only had about um, like 30 ounces of coffee today so far. No energy drink, so not um, quite up to super fire speed here. Haven't had a cup of post in a few days. Been doing um, court-based testifying stuff. Since the case is still active, can't go into too much detail, but um, yeah, suffice it to say, I am learning more and more that I do not like lawyers, and I like being in the lab, I like doing research stuff, I don't like getting up and testifying about something that could put somebody to death, I just don't really feel comfortable doing that, so my internship at least is opening my eyes as to what I am trying to do in the future. Woo. I know, I heard, it, I heard it buzz and I'm expecting a really important message, so... Fuck off, I'm sorry, it's my diary. If I want to read texts and talk, I can. I can multitask. Um, <laughs> yay. So, anyway, with the whole court thing, it's, it's been one of those, ah, God, is this really what I want to do sort of a thing? Because, as I said, it's, it's really hard for me to get up and testify since just with the position I'm at right now, a lot of the questions that I was asked yesterday were, were questions that I legally was not allowed to answer. There were questions that only a medical examiner could answer, and it was kind of one of those, okay, I work for the office of the medical examiner, yes, am I a qualified medical examiner, can I answer that question? No, you cannot ask me that. You can ask me the question, I can't answer it. And it was just one of those, I can't answer that, I'm sorry, I can't answer that, I can't answer that. The fucking lawyer went to the judge and said, Judge, I want permission to treat her as a hostile witness because she's not answering questions. The judge, who at least had a small sense of, of had common sense, said, well, you're asking her, the, you're asking her questions she can't answer. I know the law too, that's out of her purview. Ask her questions she can answer, otherwise, you know, no, no, you can't treat her as a hostile witness yet. So that made me feel a little bit better because finally that opened up some questioning and I was like, yes, okay, I can comment about that and I can talk about that, I just can't talk about any of these questions over here. So it was one of those, it's, it's, mm, I'm very still conflicted about the whole thing. Um, because the evidence that I reviewed, the experiments that I personally conducted, yes, I know that, for example, the ballistics that I lined up matched entirely. They were, they were bullets fired out of the same gun that was used as the murder weapon, provided, you know, the proof beyond reasonable doubt that was in fact the murder weapon. That part was not part of my case at all. I was just comparing ballistics, comparing wound analysis as well. Yes, um, the type of weapon that I was given to compare to would cause this type of wound. We do see this type of wound that matches up with the murder victim. But once again, I look at things scientifically and I make observations based on what I personally have done. That's all I'm allowed to do legally. I, I can't, you know, make comments about stuff that other people did. I'm just not qualified for that in addition with the fact that legally, you know, you can't do that. That's, that's hearsay. Um, wasn't anything that I'm personally aware of or was involved in or even signed off on the court evidence. Why would I know anything about it? But it's, it's like the stuff that I did, I know I did right. I know about the results that I got. I know how to interpret those. I know how to, how to analyze them and how to write them up and report and stuff. And I can explain it as well. Granted, here I can't do it in detail, which is why it's a little bit weird. But as far as <sighs> turning objective case numbers and, and random files like that into people, not the victims, but the accused, the suspects, that's the part I don't really, I'm, I'm not too comfortable with. I don't like to, I don't like to think about the fact that there are actual human beings that are capable of doing the horrific crimes that I look at to other people. I'm, I'm not mm, mature, old enough, whatever, I, I don't know the adjective for that. I'm not comfortable enough with my own take on humanity to want to be confronted daily with the idea that there are real human beings out there that walk around and do these horrific, horrific things to other people. I don't want to think about that. If I thought about that enough, I would never leave my fucking house. In fact, I would actually build a panic room because my own house is not secure enough for me. But how I can help make my own little neurotic world happier is to not think about that. However, when I have to testify, it just kind of brings it up and just rubs it all in my face. So it kind of, um, put me in a, in a weird little head place for the past couple of days, but 
I'm done with that. I don't have anything coming up for the rest of December. Possibly another one, maybe in January, but that's um, I'm pretty much clearing out the cases, and it's just I'm looking and seeing if I can find enough time or if they could pay me enough. I might just go back to doing work over at the Forensic Science Center instead of the Homicide Division over at Phoenix PD, because frankly, I like the Forensic Science Center so much better. I like I like doing you know work on on people in labs, not people that are still alive, but that's my little headspace stuff. So that's where I'm at with that, and I'm not certain if there was anything else I really wanted to talk about to continue. Um, hung out with my brother a little bit this weekend, he bought a Wii for, with his, since he got his new job, and he's paid a butt more and has more free time as well, which is like, oh dude, good for you in this economy, scoring a job like that, man, I hope you keep it, but he bought himself a Wii. Um, I hope this means that I get a double good Christmas gift since my birthday present um, a couple months ago in his unemployment period was a card. Now, it was a cool card. It was a pop-up card, but it was just a card and not like a homemade card or anything either. So, you know, whatever. I'm not that materialistic, but a Wii is on my Christmas list with Wash. <laughs> gift miss list. Um, so, yeah, there's there's that, and that's that's pretty much it, I guess, for, for me through today. Oh, 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 the weather's starting to turn. So, um, yes, I'm actually wearing a slight little hoodie cardigan thing here um, in the office. It's, it's, you know, it's in the low 70s. Um, but it's getting colder, so it's really funny to watch Wash since he has no body heat whatsoever, I guess. His blood turns to sludge and it can't circulate in the winter. I don't know, but it's the funniest thing because... He's like begging me, can we, can we put the, the flannel sheets on, please, baby, I'm so cold. Get another blanket out, I need another comforter, please. I've got the down blankets out for the couch downstairs so we can snuggle in when he's downstairs too. He walks around like a little washsicle, I don't know, he's got socks on all the time. My feet are cold. And it's like, dude, we keep our house close to 80 degrees. How the fuck are you cold? But it's just another, you know, it's living with somebody else. I, I, I laugh at it. I can see the amusement in it. And I hope I just, you know, keep up my sense of humor about this whole thing. So that's pretty much it for me today. Um, other than that, I hope everybody else is doing well. And I will hopefully have something to talk about later. All right. I'll, uh, I'll get frustrated and upset over the, uh, the bailout stuff. I'll do that in a completely different rant because I got no time left on these two. So hope everybody's doing well. Keep up the good fight and, and whatnot. And um, I will... Talk to you guys soon.